Bora 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 City. It is time to check out the new magazine. Bora 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 City. BTS versus Spotify. Yeah, 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 yeah. BTS. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to She. <laughs> and uh, yeah, today we're going to be watching BTS versus Spotify. Another, another video made by Boris City Magazine. If you haven't checked them out, boom. You should definitely uh, check them out. But yeah, um, uh, thank you so much for uh, these videos. Let's uh, get straight into it. Every end of the year since 2016, millions of Spotify users share with the world their Spotify rap data, which includes their most streamed songs and artists. But Spotify rap is Indeed. not only for users, it's also for artists. So along with your own personalized Spotify data, Spotify releases the platform's data with its most streamed songs and artists. This helps the artists increase their reputations and popularity even more, so they can reassure music critics and the general public that they are successful artists. They can get media coverage even without a new release. They can get the attention of new listeners and mm -hmm. they can even increase their streams since Spotify creates playlists with the most popular songs of the most popular artists. But what if I told you that this data is not the most accurate data? If you go to the hashtag Spotify Corrupt, you will see different users jumping on the trend, but it was all started by BTS's fandom ARMY. This is because Spotify has had a weird relationship with BTS since the group entered the global music market in 2017, and 2022 okay. was not the exception. In Spotify's year-end charts, BTS was the fifth most streamed artist, but they were completely left out of Spotify's Artist of the Year playlist, giving their number five position to Ed Sheeran. Hey, yo, no way they did this. 2022 was also the year when the BTS members started releasing official solo projects. Spotify announced that Jungkook, who had a collaboration with Charlie Puth and who sang the World Cup official song, became the most streamed K-pop soloist. Mm. But Spotify, without any explanation, apparently changed their minds last minute and named the second position as the most streamed K-pop song. Soloist. This is when armies started the hashtag Spotify Corrupt. What? What? Because although Spotify promises that this was just a mistake, let's see. Years of evidence indicate that Spotify's executives favor certain artists. I want to check something real quick. Every year, we endeavor to accurately reflect our consumption around the world. Multiple generated led taxes on the top of the and they were not properly merged. This mistake has been corrected. So, when they say the mistake has been corrected, did JK get his number one spot back? Stake years of evidence indicate that Spotify's executives favor certain artists, especially the ones signed to Interscope Records. The pop star's "Good for You" sitting at the top of Spot. Oh no! Spotify's most streamed songs of the summer list, along with seven of her other songs. The American music label Interscope Records is a division of Universal Music Group, or UMG, the biggest music company in the world. Interscope's last CFO and EVP was Jeremy Ehrlich, who served these positions from April 2016 to yeah. March 2019. Billie Eilish signed to Interscope just months after he became CFO in 2016, and in 2019, just a couple of months after Billie Eilish released her debut album, Jeremy left Interscope and became a Spotify's head of music strategy. That year, Billie Eilish became one of the most streamed artists on Spotify. The same thing happened in 2021. Are they like pushing their own artists? Like pushing, like promoting them everywhere? Making like making that happen. Olivia Rodrigo signed to Interscope Records before releasing her debut album in 2021, and Spotify promoted that album like crazy. Spotify uh. sent emails to its users offering limited edition cassettes for the ones who streamed her album the most. Spotify organized and promoted a free car wash with the album's theme, and even Jeremy himself was telling the New York Times how he didn't expect for Olivia's album to have so many streams on Spotify. Mm -hmm. That year, Olivia Rodrigo's debut album became Spotify's most streamed album of the year. Now back to BTS. A year after BTS's popularity exploded in America, Jeremy Ehrlich signed this K-pop girl group to Interscope when he was still the okay. CFO at the label. He promised the group's Korean company executives to make these girls the biggest band in the world. Is that who I think it is?
Uh -huh. But that title is held by BTS. And after them is Imagine Dragons. And after them is Coldplay. And after them is Maroon 5. And then is Arctic Monkeys. And then is Queen. And then is One Direction. And then is The Neighborhood. And then is The Beatles. And then, finally, is Jeremy Ehrlich's favorite group. Okay, but BTS are not only the biggest group of 2022, they are also the fifth biggest artist of 2022. And this is something that historically has been very hard to achieve because soloists have always been more popular than groups. This is why BTS mm. being number 5 is even a bigger achievement than you can think because the second biggest group, Imagine Dragons, is estimated to be around the 40th position in the overall artist charts. Sheesh, that is a huge jump. And I don't even know if we can trust Spotify saying that Imagine Dragons surpasses Coldplay as the second biggest group because Imagine Dragons are also signed to Interscope and if you're from Interscope, Spotify loves you. <laughs> Honestly, honestly, I think this is, this is like, one thing I realized um, due to videos like this, uh, how corrupt the music industry really is. I never thought, I had no idea. And even like with the whole payola and thing and radio play, I had no idea that it was to this extent. Like, these guys aren't just, aren't just fighting to achieve their dreams. They're also fighting against corruption while fighting against other issues like, you know, racism and, and other um, ways of dis discrimination. I just, why can't we just play fair? Like I said, Spotify releases a chart every year with the most streamed songs and artists. And along with them, they also release playlists that reflect these charts. So you can easily listen to the most popular artists of the year. Mm, as you can see, as you can see. Year. However, this year, Spotify didn't include BTS on the Why? top artists of 2022 playlist, and the fifth position was given to Ed Sheeran. Of that is despicable. Why? Of course, armies were going to notice this, so Spotify created another playlist only for groups. This doesn't affect the other groups because, like I said, it's very hard for groups to compete against soloists, and they barely are on the top artist charts. But this affects BTS because they are on the top five. It literally says the most streamed artists. A R T I S T S. You have you have Bad Bunny, you have Taylor Swift, you have Drake, The Weeknd, and BTS, and you have Bad Bunny, Taylor Swift, The Weeknd, and Drake. Where is BTS then? Because this is not the most streamed groups globally. This is the most streamed artists. Artists. Five. This is the first year Spotify has ever separated the artist playlist into a soloist playlist and a group playlist. So Spotify doesn't want BTS to be recognized as one of the platform's most popular artists because it doesn't benefit them, allegedly. This is even more obvious by the fact that if Spotify wanted to divide their playlist into soloists and groups, these playlists should be called Top Soloists of 2022, not Top Artists. Yeah, Top Solo Artists. Write top solo artists, but you can't write most streamed artists globally and then just put BTS out of there. Why? I promise you, if it was if it was another group in here, they would not have separated. I, I can't. This is not only a misleading title, but it also seems like a very funny change to make in 2022. Right, Jeremy? Because Spotify has always included groups in their top artist playlists. Wow, nah, this is this is despicable. With this, Spotify is just hiding BTS in strategic ways, but they are not necessarily lying. They are not denying the fact that BTS is number five. They just don't want people to know about it. They are not lying, they are just misleading listeners. This was until Spotify took the title of the most streamed K-pop soloist away from Jungkook to give it to one of Jeremy's K-pop girls. Did, wait, what? Despite not releasing a debut album, Jungkook of BTS is the most streamed K-pop soloist of 2022, achieving this with only three songs. That's incredible. However, 24 hours after this announcement, Spotify named one of Jeremy's K-pop girls as the most streamed K-pop soloist of 2022, making media outlets delete the reports on the list and change them to this instead. But there was no explanation as to why this happened. Fans of these K-pop girls tried to give the excuse that Spotify decided to not count collaborations as the artist's song. 
That is one of the worst excuses I've ever heard. What? This is actually this is this is actually making me upset right now. So all these dreams for left and right, Charlie Puth's collaboration with Jungkook were not supposed to be counted, and that's why they changed the results. However, if collaborations were not counted, then the most streamed K-pop soloist of 2022 should be J-Hope of BTS, who released Jack in a Box, an album with no features. In any case, collaborations or not, a BTS member should have the title of the most streamed K-pop soloist not this girl. So after Spotify Corrupt trended for hours on Twitter, Spotify changed the list once again, giving Jungkook the title of the most streamed K-pop soloist. Spotify then tweeted from their K-pop account, Every year we endeavor to accurately reflect consumption around the world. In reference to our top K-pop artists of 2022 playlist, multiple genre tags led to a slightly different top 10 lists and they were not properly merged. This mistake has been corrected. We joined the fans in celebrating the many achievements of BTS and regret Read this error but this tweet doesn't really answer any this tells me we're sorry we got caught and they got so much backlash so they changed it back do you know how scary this is do you know how scary this is honestly this is scary to me because if if we couldn't put up put up such an such a resistance or make an outrage or call them out the way that that army calls them out they wouldn't even bother to change it that's the scary part that's the scary part. Like if, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if I can get my point across accurately here, but I think that it's very scary that you have all of these, all of these snakes in this industry um, doing really shady things. And it's always, why is it? And, you know, I'm pretty sure someone in the comment section uh, will say, why is, why is it like, give me a comment, but like, why is it only happening to BTS? Why is it like, why doesn't this happen to The weekend, for example? Or any other top in the top list? They don't just get their title taken away. No, there's, there's, I'm pretty sure there's no mistakes in that area. But when it comes to BTS, it's always like, why are we, this, this is a trend this whole year. They have separated BTS in every award show as well. In every Western award show, they have made something separate so they can give BTS that and not give BTS the... I guess the meteor one. Honestly, it's actually absolutely disgusting. It, if it wasn't for BTS, I would have nothing to do with this music industry at all. If this was a true honest error, if this was truly a mistake while merging genres, why were BTS the only ones affected? Why did the rest of the K-pop list remain the same? Why did you decide this year for the first time ever to exclude groups like BTS from the top artist playlist? Why did you include BTS only on playlists where they can be seen next to Jeremy's favorite group? But this is just one of the many times- Wow. Times in which Spotify has been acting weird with BTS on the platform. From ridiculous filtering of streams- Let's see. Cutting BTS's numbers almost in half to leaking BTS's songs on their own platform. Oh yeah, they did. How did I forget? They leaked Dreamers out of nowhere. And you know the way they leaked it? Um, it was like released midnight for every country. I'm, this is what I'm saying. There's always like some sort of a some sort of a mistake when it comes to BTS. How dare they try to take away from Jungkook's accomplishments or BTS for that matter? That's the thing. I feel like it's just it's like you you know what it's like. It's like I have a class, I have a class of students, and they they're, they're going to compete in a competition where I am one of the judges. Like it shouldn't like you have that guy, I forgot his name. He he is he is one of the powerful ones in Spotify and he's the one signing all of these other competitors and artists and there's no issue with them instead everything that happens to them is like they get they benefit from it so for example J jk's got taken away and um they got it instead it's like how is that even fair and why is it only bts like what what did bts do spotify is known for sabotaging artists who refuse to play their game Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
If you are not a BTS fan, you may be thinking, why should I care about any of this? Could why be you next. Why should I care about some dumb K-pop fan war? Could why be you should next. I care that some big corrupt label is stealing the number one position from another big corrupt label? If you are not familiar with BTS and their story, it may be hard to believe. But BTS are not from one of these big music corporations. They are actually independent artists. And this is why they've been recognized as some of the biggest independent artists in the music industry. But like any other independent artists, when they become too big for their small management to handle, they ask for help from a big American label to distribute their albums. This is why BTS has a distribution deal with the American label Jeffen Records, but they are only signed to Hive, a Korean music label which BTS basically helped build from scratch. Look, when you say, when, when you talk about from scratch, look at, look, look where, look. They have... These guys start from the bottom. Scratch. This is also Bad Bunny's story. He is signed to his own Puerto Rican label, but has a distribution deal with one of Sony's music companies. Mm. All these American companies do is distribute their albums in America. But since the artists are not signed to the label, the executives only give this type of heavy promotion to their signed artists. Mm. So when it comes to artistic liberties and promotions, BTS and Bad Bunny are basically on their own. This is why it feels even more wrong that these big executives are taking BTS's achievements. If BTS were signed to Sony, for example, this would just be another nasty fight by UMG and Sony, but this is actually this K-pop group's American management, Interscope, along with Spotify's executives, constantly trying to make this girl group look bigger than they are by associating them with BTS at all costs. Allegedly. Mm. And this is not new. Allegedly. BTS has been harmed by Interscope and therefore Spotify for years. One of Interscope's signed artists, Olivia Rodrigo, was promoted in South Korea as the solo singer who's currently in a battle with BTS. Please. I am not gonna disrespect any artists. I haven't done so even when watching previous um, Bora videos. It's not about disrespecting artists, but it's just... The game that's being played is so dirty. It's so dirty. And just, just imagine this was your child doing their best, doing er everything that, that they can, and then you have the parent of another child that's competing against yours using every underhanded tactic that there is, trying, trying to cheat or trying to... Um, basically use these dirty tactics, of course you'd be like upset about it. That's what I'm saying. And this K-pop girl group has always used BTS's name to create their own media play. But this this year, they've been more shameless than ever. This K-pop group's management, label, Jeremy, or whoever the f creates their media play has been buying awards that were supposed to go to BTS in some American award shows. They have been pretending that they're not really sold out arena concerts were part of a bigger tour than BTS's sold out stadium tours. They managed to get Times Magazine to name them Entertainer of the Year when they are not the biggest group, the biggest K-pop group and much less America's Entertainer of the Year. And most recently of course this whole Spotify fiasco happened. You've probably heard about about Spotify's corruption or maybe even assumed it because that's just how the music industry is. It destroys independent artists and it saturates the general public with artists from the same big three corporations. Good luck trying to destroy BTS. Good luck. Because even if you have the best luck in the world, you will not succeed. This is, I, I don't know about this, but this is disgusting by Spotify. Actually, the first thing I was like, hmm, with Spotify was when they leaked uh, JK song. I was like, hmm. It's kind of weird. Um. This is why when a song by the YouTuber Corpse became a mainstream song, everyone in the internet celebrated. It was a big win for independent artists because it proved that a technically small artist with no big label behind him defeated the big corrupt corporation that is Spotify. It appears that even without a swell of mainstream adoption, his single will be passing 100 million streams soon. I think it really highlights the, the power dynamics have shifted so greatly. But when artists like BTS do this time and time again, nobody talks about it because these corporations hide these artists' names as much as they can. This is why Corp's other songs didn't become mainstream again. 
and this allegedly hurts corporations like Spotify even more because BTS is a big name and they refuse to play the American industry's game and this has cost them a lot. BTS has talked about this. They've confessed that they've received offers to fraudulently become bigger than what they are, but they keep refusing. They, they haven't sold their soul. And I've talked about these job manipulation tactics before. BTS are known in the industry for refusing to play for radio play and for American awards. Before we uh, uh, listen to your conclusion, Bora, because you make great points, and and um, it's just sad to see. It's just sad to see. Is it too much to ask for to want BTS to be treated like everyone else? Just because BTS refuses to play in your dirty tactics it doesn't give you a right to do what, what you're doing. And I feel like there's other reasons why BTS are being treated the way they are. But it's like, you can't stop it. The more you try to stop BTS, the bigger they become. You cannot. You cannot. And honestly, it is upsetting. It is upsetting because can you imagine if everything was fair, just how much more appreciated BTS would be? But do they really need the appreciation of of these ungrateful and I would say snaky people? No. I don't think they do. They have true love and appreciation from people that, that truly loves them. And I feel like whoever is on the other side of this, meaning you're not being treated like BTS, you, instead you're getting the benefits. If that ever changes, you will understand and it will be a reality check and, and, and you will understand what this means because, you know, it's like celebrating something that isn't happening to you just because it's not happening to you and you're fine with it. You're like, I don't care. But then it, when it affects you, it's going to be a huge shock. Let BTS be who they are and honestly i lost a lot of respect for spotify here i had no idea that this is what they were going because let's be honest having having one of the executives literally sign artists and and used to be the head or the ceo of like a label or whatever it's called i think it should raise a lot of eyebrows but apparently none of that matters because i guess everything is happening due to money behind the scenes no one's no one's complaining about it. No one's bringing it up. If it wasn't for Bora, who would talk about this? Or Army in general, who would talk about this? My conclusion to all of this may not feel gratifying. I see many armies and music fans saying, let's just sabotage Spotify. Let's mm. not listen to any artists there. But that may do more harm than good because Spotify is the music industry and not supporting independent artists would only empower these corporations even more. The truth is that the present and future of music is streaming and sabotaging Spotify would only hide BTS even more. Spotify has so many corruption problems, but so does YouTube, the Grammy, and most music institutions. So I think the best way in which fandoms can protest such corporations is to shame them on social media, while also supporting independent artists. In the case of BTS, ARMY's strategy has been the same for years, making BTS so big that it's impossible to deny them a spot on this list. Exactly. Do what you want. At the what end matter? of the day, these K-pop groups' image as these big worldwide artists are simply that, an image. Extreme media play and promotion can only get you so far. Olivia Rodrigo also had connections with Spotify and that helped her music career to skyrocket, allegedly. But this effect is not happening with this girl group. The media play is not working. And this is mainly because BTS's fandom won't let it happen. So speak up, it works. And don't forget to stream your favorite artists. About it. Mm. Honestly, Bora City, you're absolutely amazing at these videos. Seriously, good job, good job. The points you make, the amount of time you put in, 
the research and everything. It's unfortunately, you know, it's unfortunate that you have to make a video like this in the first place, because in a, in in another timeline or if things were better, you know, this wouldn't have been a talking point. Uh, and you know, I definitely agree with that conclusion. The the solution isn't to boycott Spotify because can you imagine how many other small artists that don't even have like even a fraction of BTS's fame and and fandom how how they're dealing with this they're just trying to make music and they're being pushed down and stepped on unless they follow the 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 dirty and corrupt music industry that's one of the sad things but when it comes to BTS thankfully they don't need they they're not going to like they don't need to follow what these guys are doing they have they have the choice and clearly they they don't care for them it's not like oh we have to do this otherwise it's over for us no they have grown so big so like no offer can be enticing enough or make them change their mind and that is that is a blessing that is amazing i just want to say i'm so proud of of bts i'm so proud of army um and i think we should just you know support bts like we always have and especially during these two years more than ever don't get affected by by what the media tells you and once again i have no disrespect or or any sort of hate or uh any of that towards any other artists because i don't know about you know what what, what they have done what they've gone through but i can definitely give my two cents on on the way uh things are happening behind the scenes it's it, it's kind of clear it's, it's clear to see it's not just there like It's hard to say. It's hard to say exactly um, how I feel here, but Jin says it the best. Why not just make honest music? Why not just... What's, what's so bad about that? What happens? What happens if you do that? Take a look at BTS's growth from day one until today. It's all been organic. There's no question marks. There's no, hmm, what happened here? There's no... Oh, all of a sudden, BTS just swoops another award. Or they're like out of top five and then they're being put in a top five list. No, every change that's happening to BTS is they do something amazing and they and they take, take it away from BTS. Or they try to hide it. All the award shows this year made a separate category for BTS. Everyone. Every Western award show did it. Uh, AMA did it, VMA uh, did it, I think EMA did it, I forgot, uh, Billboard did it. Shame on you. That's all I have to say. Regardless, Apple Mampo, you know, Army Forever, Bangtan Forever. Um, there is a voting going on, so uh, I hope we can we can uh, snag some of those as well. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, um, the music industry is one of the worst places to be. Like, is there any is there any industry left on this world that isn't corrupt? Like, that's what I'm wondering. Is there any is there any any place out there in in the world where it's it's just not corrupt, where money isn't um, talking? I have no idea, but unfortunately, I see corruption everywhere. I see corruption in sport. I see it in music, movie industry, everywhere. Uh, that is why we should we should nurture. And, and appreciate and respect people who go against this and, and and groups like BTS, do you think that's easy to go against a whole industry? The industry that, that you're trying to to make a name for yourself in and not now, of course, now yet, but like as they're slowly come, coming in there, I think they realized what a dirty and corrupt place it is. Yet they still stayed clean and they stayed strong and honest. That should be celebrated. That should be an inspiration for other people. You can do it. Stay strong. Because at the end of the day, do you want to be happy about your music, about your accomplishments? I, I feel like if I do something myself with my own power, it is the most accomplished feeling I would get. Like I would just feel so much gratitude. It feels so gratifying to, you know, you do something yourself. For example, I can go out there and buy a uh, gingerbread house. Yes, I can go buy it. But if I can make my own, it's going to be like, oh, so nice. Like I'm going to be excited because I succeeded in doing that myself instead of having someone else do it for me. That's my uh, final thoughts on this. Let's so just stay strong, unfortunately. It's not going to be the end of it. Um, but we are me, we're here. And let's not forget that. Goodbye.